Hi guys, it's Wombat and we're back at where we ended up in our last video. We have 18,891 kilometers left, so we basically did a thousand kilometers in the last episode. And today we are moving from somewhere between Ariquemus and G. Parana. And I hope we'll make it to, I don't know, um, Ponte da Cerda or Cacar Eris, perhaps. Um, my goal today is to make about a thousand kilometers or so. But before we do, we gotta set the time to 6 a.m. because the sun is going down. And yeah, that's it. That's all we need. I don't know what happened with that truck that was parked next to us yesterday, but it's gone now. Which makes it a lot easier to get out of here. again finally and I gotta say I had a ton of fun the last time we did this uh, I want to thank all of those of you who have watched the video so far and who have helped me through the um, premiere we did on Saturday last week it was a blast I really really enjoyed it <laughs> And you know, <laughs> I wish we were doing this live as well, but I told, promised you to have a new video on on Wednesday, today that is. And unfortunately I couldn't be here and do it live, uh, so it had to be pre-recorded. But uh, on, oh crap, fake. Uh, but when we're here next time, uh, on Saturday, 4 p.m. CET, it's gonna be live. And I really look forward to doing this live together with you guys. Just being able to chat with you during the premiere was a ton of fun. So I really, really look forward to doing it live, finally. Can't understand why I haven't done that before. Uh, it's, it's gonna be fantastic or terrible um, two things could happen we could have a perfect haul or I could crash immediately <laughs> and if you wonder what my backup plan is if we crash and completely destroys the truck or the cargo uh, I have no plan no plan at all I have no idea what we're gonna do if that happens <laughs> but we'll figure it out and you know of course I'm not gonna crash um, I hope anyway and uh, this month the month of November has been a fantastic month for those of us who also play on ATS we got Oregon and just last week we also got the um, Volvo VNLs and the special transport uh, which I guess means that Christmas somehow is is over for those of us who only plays on ATS uh, but what a great end of the year it's been on ATS with those three DLCs um, and of course the Volvos they are free of charge the special transport I think it's five euro so it isn't bad at all and it's definitely worth it even if you are using special transport on um, on ETS because there are a lot of other uh, cargos there are some cargos that you will recognize from why am I speeding all the time man? come on um, 
there's a lot of new uh, cargos in there that we haven't seen on ETS 2 yet and possibly never will see on ETS 2. The giant silo is similar to the one we have on ETS but I think it is a lot bigger and the trailers are absolutely uh, they are very difficult to use to say the least um, I, I don't know why but I prefer European trailers uh, compared to American uh, truck simulators trailers the Europeans one for me at least is a lot easier to use with the steering wheels at the back of the um, the trailer uh, those American trailers uh, ooh, they are really really difficult to to work with uh, but uh, yeah that makes it a lot more fun too because it gets a lot more challenging uh, I need to thank a lot of you guys I'm not gonna mention anyone specific but quite a few of you contacted me after the uh, first part of the this long haul and told me that there is a clock on this truck um, and it's there it's right there so it's 10 minutes past 7 and you know I've been using the F-16 for some time and <laughs> I've never seen it <laughs> Oh, it's horrible, I know. Um, I've never seen it, but yeah, it's there. <laughs> and that makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? <laughs> I, now, that I, now that it's there, um, it's not even difficult to spot it. Um, yeah. And on different profiles, I think I've been using this truck for for some at least 10,000 kilometers so far and I've never seen it so um, thank you guys <laughs> for, for pointing out how much of a noob I am <laughs> well oh well it's one of those things uh, a couple of other comments I got last time was that there apparently is going to be a huge issue around Vorkuta. Uh, apparently there is a, a, a some uh, some way around Vorkuta there is a bridge missing and on another profile I then just went over to Vorkuta and checked and yeah, I found a bridge that isn't completed, but there is a road next to that bridge. Um, so I haven't been able to find uh, some missing roads or, 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 or bridges apart from that. That requires me to teleport. Uh, and I hope I'm right in that possibly Vorkuta didn't have that temporary bridge next to the incomplete bridge the last time uh, on version 6.0 uh, but it is there now on version 7 so um, I hope I found the place that you were talking about um, if I didn't please be more specific to where that bridge would be where we have to teleport because I couldn't find it uh, but thanks anyway to give me a heads up on things that could become an issue. One thing that will be an issue is the ferry we have to take at some point where we go over to Europe. And considering how the last bridge worked, I'm not really sure how we should do it this time. Um, we will get there sooner or later and I'm seriously thinking about teleporting to Calais instead of taking that ferry and risking more damage. Um, 
but give me your thoughts on that. Uh, we have plenty of, of time, I guess. Uh, we won't get to um, to that ferry until the earliest will be on Saturday, of course. Uh, and that is if we haul for at least a couple or two uh, hours, three, four hours, perhaps even. Um, but. But we will get there eventually, and the question is, what do we do when we get there? Um, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Should we teleport? Should we just... Um, or should we just uh, take our chances and do the ferry? Another thing I want to do is, uh, I think I want you all to answer a poll. I want to know how many of you who... Uh, Believes in me, I think that we will actually make it to uh, Vorkuta. Um, so uh, I think I'll do a poll uh, on the uh, on my YouTube on the community site and see how many of you think we will actually make it. Uh, so I'll make that poll available uh, on Wednesday. Uh, well, for you guys, that is today, uh, right after this video has been released and again this is the last pre-recorded before we start doing live sessions and it's gonna be live every second episode from then on out I'll do a new episode every Saturday at 4 p.m. CET and on Saturday that will be live Saturday after it will be pre-recorded and then live the week after that until we reach Orkut and of course the last part will definitely be live if we make it to Orkut that is <laughs> and the question is then well, what do we do when we have um, completed the entire haul hopefully completed the entire haul hopefully successfully as well what do we do then how do you top something like this? Um, it's definitely got to be something longer than just 19,500. We have to get above 20,000 kilometers the next time if we do something like this again. Um, so yeah, I'm already <laughs> planning the next haul because I'm totally convinced this is going to be a complete success. And um, we will get to Vorkuda with only the 2% of damage that we currently have. Look at that idiot next to me there. Is he going to make it? He did. Good boy. And why is he slowing down so early? So this episode is going to be Kakuan, yeah. So this episode is going to be about an hour. Um, I reckon we would probably make all episodes either one or two or three or four hours simply because the number of hours I can haul on in a day uh, t between 12 and 14 is around an hour IRL so um, I'm not gonna day, do a, a day and a half in game um, I'm gonna haul from the early morning until the sun goes down and that is about an hour uh, the first one was obviously one and a half but that was simply because I started at midday This one is going to be an hour. Uh, how long will the live session be on Saturday? Uh, don't know. Could be. Uh, it, it depends.
depends a little bit on you guys. Uh, if you want me to do two hours, I'll do two hours. If you want me to do three hours, I'll try to do three hours. If you want me to want me to do four hours, uh, that could happen too. But at some point, I gotta get some food, you know. So um, it's not gonna be eight hours straight. That's not gonna happen. But I hope we can get out of EAA before, <laughs> before Christmas <laughs> um, in not that many weeks. can't remember if I said why, but the reason I have to do... Oh, sorry. The reason I have to do every second Saturday pre-recorded is simply because I have children and my youngest daughter isn't that old uh, she's absolutely not gonna tolerate me doing something live here and uh, be quiet while I do it so um, that's not gonna happen because I have kids Saturday and every second Saturday will not be a problem because I do not have my kids here when uh, on, on, on those weekends. So, um, and it doesn't make a difference if I change it and say that we, we do this every Wednesday instead because they're here every second week. So, um, so every second week I'm not able to to do it live anyway unless I call in sick from work of course let's see uh, <laughs> I really hope my boss isn't listening in on this uh, and I need to thank uh, John who uh, know a lot about, uh, well, not necessarily halls like this, but trucks like this, definitely. And he have calculated the weight of this thing. Yes, the bridge is 95 tons, but on top of that, we have the truck, obviously. That is another 8.5 tons. And the trailer itself, around 28 tons so 95 28 eight and a half uh, we're up around 140 tons in total which is pretty heavy and probably not something a Volvo F16 would make in real life I can confirm that it is struggling a lot, even in game. <laughs> um, but who cares? I mean, the hole itself isn't realistic either, so um, if the cargo isn't realistic for this truck, then yeah, it's fun anyway. struggling there, down to fourth gear. Some of you reacted to me calling my Volvo F16 baby and you know trucks to me 
they are female. And the simple reason for that is that since ships are females, trucks to me at least are females as well. So um, my Volvo F16 is my girlfriend. That's why she's my baby. So yeah, you, you're gonna hear that every so often me referring to my Volvo as baby. Um, and yes, I do love her. And no, I won't marry her. But yes, I love her. <laughs> what do we have here then? Okay. Someone commented last time on me going very slowly and if you're listening in again, I hope you are, uh, I am flooring it. I'm going as fast as I possibly can uh, within the limits of what is allowed. I mentioned ATS earlier and they have had their Christmas. Um, Christmas have already started for us on ATS2. For those of you who aren't aware, if you go to um, Steam and activate uh, betas, you will be able to try out the coming version 1.33. 1.33 will not work with your mods. Uh, some mods will probably work, but most of them will not. Your setup, uh, big map setup, will definitely not work. Uh, Promos is coded to only work with uh, 1.32. So uh, forget about map mods if you're testing it out. And I wish I could test it out together with you, but I don't dare uh, switch into um, to 1.33 even for a test because that will affect this profile that I'm doing this haul on, and I want, don't want to risk ruining it. Uh, so I'm not gonna be able to try out the new version until well after this haul has been completed uh, but once we're back in Verkuta, once we get to Verkuta, uh, I'm definitely gonna try 1.33 out there are some new trailers and among them I think the most exciting ones are the double flatbeds um, there are um, several other news as well and something that is a little bit confusing to me, to me it seems like you are able to try out the Baltics too at least I saw some images from the Baltics um, so uh, give it a try it's available for us right now and of course then the Baltics will be out uh, in I'd say a couple of weeks. Can't be much more than that before it's out. That will also, of course, ruin the big map setup. Uh, we will have to wait for a new version of Promods at least before it works. The 
big maps, big maps that that is. And of course, also a new version of Russia. Yeah, a new version of Rus. Yeah, a Rus map will also be required. Uh, so it's going to take a while, as it always do when a new DLC is out before the maps work. But I think that you won't really have to buy uh, the Baltics. Um, DLC for the big, big map to work in the future. Uh, Promos isn't gonna depend on it or even Rust map, uh, at least not in the first versions that are released after the DLC have been released. So, but it's coming pretty, pretty soon. The one 33, by the way, isn't gonna be released until next year, so this is a really, really early access beta. Oh, nice, look at the road here. roads on EAA. I'm sure most of you, all of you have already been over some of these. mentioned the uh, China mod, China and Taiwan, the ROC mod. Uh, I mentioned those in the last video and I probably wasn't very clear on it then, so let me be very clear on it now, now that even if I'm not using the uh, Republic of China and Taiwan on my big, big map setup today, it is not because uh, China, China have been uh, abandoned. It is very much still undergoing development and will continue to do so. The only reason I do not have it on the big map setup is simply because it, it can't fit next to EAA anymore. Uh, so I will probably make a new profile in use China and Taiwan on that one uh, because even if I've seen comments I've seen people saying that oh it's an ugly map mod and yes there are parts of the map that look really ugly uh, but there are also parts that look really beautiful and the reason is for that is the same as for every other large map if it's a DLC or the SES base map or a mod doesn't matter. The older parts will always be ugly <laughs> compared to the newer parts or new parts from other map mods or DLCs. Uh, that's called development. That's what happens. So uh, I understand why some of you have said that they find the um, China map ugly. And I agree, there are parts of it that isn't very pretty, but there are also other parts that are very, very pretty. Uh, so I still like the China map and I will find a profile for it in the future. And I think I already said that in the last part of this journey, that I will make a hole in the future. Um, and that could very well involve China. We won't 
get very far today if this continues. Obviously, we won't make it to uh, Vorkuta with 0% damage. Uh, when we left the ferry in the last episode, we had at least 1% damage. Uh, someone contacted me and said that we had 2% uh, from the bridge, but I looked back to the, on the video and checked it out again, and no, we only made 1% then. Um, the second percent could have been from the teleport we did. Um, uh, I don't know. Doesn't matter. We have two percent now, so we won't make it uh, with uh, with a zero percent uh, damage. And I include the truck in the trailer. Um, I thank those of you who pointed out that well, your the cargo has zero percent. I thank you very much for pointing that out. But to me, it's the complete package I was hoping for would get away with 0% damage. Now we won't make that, uh, we already know that. Uh, so my goal now is to have less than 10% damage perhaps. Um, let's see what happens. Wilhelm. If you think I'm going slow, you're absolutely right. I'm taking no risks over oh, things like that. This also feels like a, an older part of EAA. Speaking of EAA, by the way, version 5.0.5 came out a few days ago. It adds another few cities, I think it was 8 or 10 cities. I'm not going to upgrade to 5.0.5 because it will reset your truck and that's not going to work. Um, so uh, I can't update to 5.0.5 but if you're not doing a haul like this uh, at the moment I strongly recommend that you upgrade several new towns and more than 3,000 kilometers of roads have been added in version 5.0.5 and of course then a ton of bug fixes as well and oh yeah Arias did it again uh, he have now released version 1.9 of Romania Extended and if you are using the premium version that means that you will get an additional eight cities in Ukraine. Uh, there's a lot of new uh, uh, roads and cities above that as well. There are road connections now to to other countries. Poland, I think, was one of them. Uh, so if you haven't upgraded to 1.9, it's time to do that now. And speaking of news, by the way, David and Doomer have updated their um, Delete Europe mods and background map mods.
not uh, and both of them works very very nicely together with EAA now uh, we have no horizontal lines on the EAA and we have uh, a working GPS uh, which we had a slight problem with in earlier versions but Doomer has upgraded to 1.4 and David has upgraded the Delete Europe to 1.2 so horizontal line fixed GPS fixed it is absolutely fantastic what those two guys have done for us and it's it's an honor having you among us guys David and Doomer thank you so much I didn't even dream of that actually happened when I asked if someone was able to create a, a background and I haven't been able to find anyone who could fix the horizontal lines on the Delete Europe mod and yeah Doomer and David stepped up and fixed both of those things so we owe them a lot for that so the links are in the video description for my uh, EAA standalone video I'm gonna try to remember to put up a link to it here upper right corner uh, there you'll find the download links uh, project Balkan is out in a new version version 2.9 uh, I'm gonna have a look at it at some point I haven't had the time yet but I will look at it and I'm it, it's it's a really really slow process but I'm working on my secondary big map setup and I am trying to build it on on the MHA Pro uh, but it's going really really slowly and I do apologize for that but I will try to get Project Balkans working on that profile because there is uh, a lot of people who want to see Project Balkans working. Um, it doesn't work with map setup because I don't think it works with Pro Mods. It definitely doesn't work with Romania Extended and Turkey. And I'm not going to sacrifice Turkey and Romania Extended for for Project Balkans. But I will try to fit it into another profile and another big map setup. So I'm working on that. Only it is three o'clock. I think that if we are going to do a haul like this again in the future, it's not going to be with something stupid like the bridge behind us right now. I think I'm going to go with a double trailer or a BDF perhaps instead. I'm still going to use something old for it. I'm a bit old school. I love new scanners. I really, really do. The 2016 next generation 
new generation uh, tr uh, trucks. They are, I love them. I love them so much. But uh, I, I lean hard to uh, towards uh, towards uh, old trucks, um, and I think that. No, I'm not gonna think. I'm gonna let you decide. What 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 truck would you prefer for? Um, what truck would you like me to use on a big, uh, long haul like this one in the future? Should it be an old Russian truck or should it be an old? Uh, it's got to be something old, that's for sure. But other than that, that I'm open to suggestions. So let me know in the comments what you think. We could probably do a vault on it as well. Um, and also, if possible, uh, if you come with suggestions, if it's possible to add a link to that truck, because especially among the uh, Russian trucks, uh, there are a ton of similar trucks. There is a ton of mods for the same models, uh, especially among the Kamaz trucks. Uh, and some of these models, or versions of some of these models, aren't very nice. Uh, some of them are really horrible. Um, so please, if possible, include a link to the mod. Commodoro! Yay! Stop there, buddy. Thank you. Oh, Jesus! Crazy. What's wrong with people? Cover me, Commodore. I can't say I liked everyone in that city, but thanks anyway. Oh, here's a gas station. I think we should stop and fill up the tanks. Uh, just to make sure we make it to the next gas station. So it's four o'clock and we won't be able to go much further than this. Um, we gotta stop in a couple of hours, in-game hours that is. Inizio do trecho de Sara, I have no idea what that means. Um, but since there's a sign, it's probably not something good. Uh, oh, I think we're running out of tarmac. <laughs> no, no, ha! <laughs> oh, not yet at least. Another question I got uh, in the comments after the release of part one was uh, when we were going to reach uh, BR uh, 130 and the answer is we won't. 
I'm avoiding that for obvious reasons. I've been there so I know it and doing this haul on BR230 would be suicide. So we won't hit 230. 130. 230. <laughs> no, I can't remember if it's BR230 or 130. Um, anyway. The trans Amazonica Highway. We won't make it to that one. And I think that is a, a good thing. First off, uh, I've already done a video on VR 2.30. And secondly, since I've been there, I know how difficult that would, how impossible that would be. That road is, we wouldn't make it. Oh, down to fifth gear. Seriously, third gear, come on baby. Good girl. Yeah. I think that once we reach the next town, um, I think it's time to stop for a day. It's half past six and the sun will be down in about an hour. And once it's down it gets pitch black. As I said in the last video, I'm not doing this all in pitch darkness. It's not gonna happen. Um, it's too risky. Brazil is in 
some places really, really bad. So that could happen. Um, one way of trying to avoid that is, of course, then to speed up. of course risky as well because you could easily damage your truck or train or cargo so um, yeah let's see what happens if well, not if but when we uh, hit a bad road like that that spot for this to work.
Oh, it worked! Yay! So there we have it. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. How far did we make it today? 18,279 kilometers left. Well, that's not bad, really. I think I said that I hope we would make it to somewhere around here, didn't I? Yeah. And we almost made it to Ponte Celacerda. Which means that on Saturday we should be able to at least make it to Brasilia. Possibly to Luis Eduardo Magalhães. <laughs> or even to Salvador. I mean, that depends on how much time we spend. But this was about an hour. That was about one and a half hours. So two and a half hours doing that. So two and a half hours to Brasilia. No. I don't think we can make it to Salvador on Saturday. That would be probably five hours. Um, but... But, um, well, let's find out. Anyway, that's it, guys. Because you can't possibly be bothered going around my train. Of course not. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm so terribly, terribly sorry. I hope I didn't offend you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. There you go. I'm so sorry. Gee, some people... So, it's 7 o'clock in the evening and we are wherever we are now, um, very close to Ponte La Cerda. I thank you so much for watching guys and I hope to see you again on Saturday at 4 o'clock p.m. Uh, Central European time that is. Take care guys. Bye bye.